Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope everyone are good. In this session, we will try to explain how to use Power Word Simulator for those who have nothing, no background, uh, no any experience on using this software. So let's assume we have this network. Let's come here. Let's say we have the following network. We have generator. We have transformers. And this generator from this side is, let's say, 11 kV to 66 kV. And we have also a transmission line. And here we have the bus, okay, and we have here again the bus and step down transformer. Then we have load. Okay, let's assume this transmission line has the following resistance and impedance R equal point zero one five per unit we have XL point zero five five per unit and also we have four capacitors point two five per unit this is for shunt capacitors and let's say also this transformer has the following resistance and impedance R equals 0 0.001 per unit and this one is x equals 0 0.025 per unit let's say this one is t1 this is line this is generator and this is transformer 2 and this transformer steps the voltage down from 66 kV to 6 kV and has resistance of around uh, let's say 0 0.025 not 0 0.025 0 0.0025 per unit and a reactance of 0 0.0085 per unit and let's say we have load of around 120 megawatt and 55 megawatt. And for generator, let's assume that the generator can be varied between 0 and 600 megawatt. And uh, also what we have here okay maybe the someone may ask for the set points let's say that will start at 130 megawatt because power word simulator will ask us for set point okay so let's say we have this network now if we want to build this network in power word simulator what should we do Let's come to Borrower Simulator. So this is the software. When you open it, you will see this window. So we want to draw. For that, we will go to Edit Mode because we don't have any network to run it. We will go to Edit Mode and we will go to File and select a new case. Then we will go to Draw. We can see here Network. Okay, here we will build the system. First, we will add the buses. So if we come to here, we will put this bus and this bus has voltage of 11 kV. We can say it is 11, not 138, 11 kV. And we want it vertical, okay? The orientation of this bus on vertical, okay? So this is our bus. Also, we have another bus. This one, it is 66 kV. 
so we will go here we will select pass and we will press anywhere here for example and we will say 66 kV let's put it here and this is number two bus number two we can select the size we can do anything for that okay it is okay for me so I will select the size we can also move it you can also increase this one if you want nothing can stop you then we will put another bus for the end or the receiving end of the transmission line so this bus also has 66 kV and it will be also vertical the orientations and we can select we can bring it here to select the same size for that and the number also we can move it like this one and then we can move it here to ensure that it is similar to the other one you can put it for any size you can use any size for any bus and the last one will be this bus the load bus okay so we will come here select bus and we will select here okay so this is 6 kV you can bring it here we can select the same size and also this one and we can bring it here okay for this one also if you want we can also decrease the length to this value and this one also can be bring it here so we have these buses okay if we come to this one we have also transformers we don't need to insert the voltage of secondary and primary sides of transformers because once the buses are defined the voltage of buses are defined then both sides of transformer will be adjusted automatically so all we need is to come here select transformer and we want to put transformer or connect transformer between bus 1 and bus 2 so we will click here and move the cursor of the mouse till reaching here then double click we can see here let's come here what is the resistance is 0 0.001 and reactance 0 0.025 so we will come here we will put resistance and we will put reactance 0 0.025 we don't have shunt charging shunt conductance magnetizing conductance magnetizing suspitance we don't have all these values so we will set them equal zero also there is no limits we didn't mention any limits okay so we are happy with these values we will press on okay if you want to increase the size of transformers you can press on it again and come to display can you see here pixel thickness will be thicker and you can see also symbol segments or symbol size we can press this one and we can see the transformer will be bigger and thicker okay what's about this window if we come to here we can also select the style is it for total power real power reactive power line amperes or other readings in most cases we select this one total power for MVA okay what is the size we can select for example for and we can select okay when the power is uh, flowing through the transformer we will see how much that power or is it within the ratings or not okay of course if we put here the limits then we want to connect a transmission line between bus 2 and bus 3 so we will come to network select transmission line and click on bus 2 release your finger and move the cursor till reaching this bus and double click on it okay for transmission line if we come here what are the parameters r equals 0 0.015 xl 0 0.055 
and for capacitance is 0.25 all in per unit of course this one just to, for your information when I say capacitance this is not in a microfarad or uh, farads or something we are talking about shunt capacitors so it will be J omega C if you remember this is from the transmission line chapter okay so we can come here and put the value it will be 0 0.015 0 0.055 and for suspitance it will be 0 0.25 and press ok again we can select this one and select the size and we want for example total power and we can also select transmission line go to display and select thickness to 2 this one also if we want to adjust it we can just move this one I mean this one so it can be set at the middle and for the second transformer we can come here to transformers uh, press on bus move your cursors to bus 4 and double click and for that will be how much we have 0 0.0025 for resistance and for reactance is 0 0.0085 so here is this value and here we have this value press ok we can again come here and select display I forget to change the size and also for this one we can select 4 and we can move this one also cancel okay then we have generator we can come to generator and press on this one what are the values we have 0 and 600 and we will set the set point on 130 okay so we have that one and we will also come to display we want it to be on the left side so we will select left okay it is on left and let's also decrease the size to 8 and press okay so this is our generator and the last one will be the load we will come here we will select load and we will press on this one if we come to here we will see the load is constant load with this values for active power it is 120 and for reactive power is 55 so we will come to constant power 120 and here for constant megavar it is 55 and we will also see the orientation on the right side and we will press on before we pressing on it on ok let's decrease the size to 8 and then press ok everything's are ready and let's also increase the thickness I think this on one okay okay so everything's are okay 